So still in uh, search of that 1600 gravestone, uh, I used the old Google interwebs and actually found, uh, if I Google oldest grave, I would find it. And sure enough, here we are. We've got 1693 and 1692 in this little grave side. Um, And uh, 1690, 1682. So within this somewhere is these uh, old gravestones. So we'll walk through here real quick. My dad made the great suggestion to uh, to actually Google this. I was just running across graveside, so this is an above ground one, uh, and there must be multiple people in it, or, but there it is, 1686, yes, I found it, I knew there was going to be some out here, 1676, so ornate, ornate top on that. So I've been looking for this because I knew that there was 1600s out here somewhere. Get that out really. Some of these gravestones are. That doesn't necessarily have a date on it. There, 1697. Check that out right there. 1697. Fascinating. Tell the date on that one. That one's been broken off. This is some of these little ones they don't even have names on them. This one was put here in 2000. Looks interesting. Oh no, 1709. Here lies inherited the body of John D. J. Esquire, age 63, departed this life in 1709. Stamp 2000 down there, that's weird. Uh, let's see. April 11th, 17. That looks like 1719. <clears throat> Can't make that out. May 20. May. 27th, oh, 1718. <clears throat> so it's pretty darn old. 1696. Make it out right there, barely, but I can make it out. 1696. 1746. It's not a very big site. 1718 1738 1693 there's a 1600 one holy moly how old are these my goodness Seventeen fourteen, seventeen twenty, just a name on that one, seventeen forty nine. Just 
stones for some people. Just stones. 1725. 1719. Just stones that they've been broken off. 1718. Looks like maybe 14. Just okay. 1757. This is before the Declaration of Independence was even written. 1774. <clears throat> 1781. This one's going to be a little hard to make out. May 18th, that's the date that Mount St. Helens blew up, but it doesn't have a year. I don't see a year on it. Just another gravestone, nothing on it. 1802, 1821, 1826. So these are broken off, worn. It's 1892. 1846. That's uh, got no writing left on it. 1738. I mean, just imagine this is before the Declaration of Independence was even signed. They were still having, I mean, the War of 1812 hadn't even happened yet for some of these people. 1705, 1807, um, 1847, 1802. I mean, this one's been here so long, you can barely make out what it says. I can actually see it better on the video than I can in the on the actual graveside. Just fascinating. says 1817 maybe seventeen eighty five so they had written the Declaration of Independence before he went uh, but he was alive during it potentially Seventeen thirty eight. There we go, sixteen eighty nine. Fascinating. Seventeen thirty eight. Talk so I don't know what that date actually means, but. Sixteen ninety five, look at that. Sixteen ninety five. I knew I would find these out here. Seventeen seventy six. This one's been broken off, but it does date on it. Seventeen forty two. Seventeen sixty nine. 1759. There's nothing on that one. I got these ones here too. They don't have any real writing on them. That one is 1719. 1712. I mean, the fact that they were even cutting this rock back then was. 1759, 1771, 
just fascinating. Blows my mind. So hard to tell, but you know, for my friends on the West Coast, um, some of these people lived before there was even people in Washington State or the West Coast. Gold Rush hadn't even started. I mean, uh, I don't know what that means. Somebody help me with that one in the comments below. 1732 1744 slash 5 I don't know what that means the first 17 January the first 17th oh, maybe it's going to 45 I don't know um, 1718 1718 and you gotta wonder if these stones don't have any writing on them if they're still if they were put here before that, but I think the historical society, society would have done their due diligence. There we go, 1694. Anyway, I'd find these 1600 ones out here. So if it was formed in, the town was formed in 1693, I did that in one of my other videos. That one looks like 18 something. Uh, so, these people were some of the first settlers to ever be on this. Hey, there's that Christmas tree car I did the other day. We can't really make that one out. But I knew I would find the 1600s. Yeah, it's just super cool. My dad commented also on uh, make sure I don't point to the ground, walk along the ground, so trying to do a better job at that. But yes, I knew I would find the 1600 ones. That is awesome. It's called the Point of Graves. This goes out to Ghost Island. So, and the naval shipyard's right over there. So these people were here before there was even a shipyard here. Just absolutely amazing little history for you. You can pause it here if you want and read up on these people. Um, I can bring it in, I guess. Uh, run across it so that you can read them. Read about the people. They, they've done their history checks. 1692, my goodness. Just super cool. You can pause it if you need to to read it. But I knew I would find it. Good old Google helps me finish my search for the 1600s. So cool. I mean, and that's still 200 years after Columbus discovered America, so uh, it took them 200 years to come up here and settle in this area. 16, so I think the oldest one was 1682. I think that is the oldest. Let me double check that. 1682, and this one is, yeah, 1682. 